In this video, I'm going to take you step by step to explore probably the best AI design platform right now, which of course is Canva, which if you haven't realized, has launched an insane platform called Magic Studio that can literally do anything for you. It's like actually having a designer working for you and all you got to do is prompt, write some phrases, direct them towards creating the best possible designs for you. Canva was already so easy to use, but now it's even more. So we're going to test and rate together every single feature of Magic Studio in a crash test you don't want to miss. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's do this. So Canva is a miracle of a platform. If you ask me, it's probably one of the top five websites that I have used ever. And the website that I started making money with as a freelancer, like eight, nine years ago. When I discovered, I'm not a designer, by the way, how many things I can create and deliver as a service to people out there that have no idea about Canva existence or how to create simple graphics, I was like, Dude, this is a business by itself. By just understanding how to use Canva, you can really become a great freelancer and make tons of money. Handle the social media of people by generating social media posts, creating videos for them, generate marketing materials like leaflets, banners, cover letters, create resumes for people, so many different applications. And since we're in the AI era, Canva couldn't stay still. They have launched the Magic Studio, which is actually the Adobe Killer. So we're going to explore all these features together, rate them one by one, and I promise you, your mind will be blown. So let's start our journey. So you're going to need a Canva account. So if you don't have one, just register and create one. And you're going to find the Magic Studio feature right here. Click on it. You can watch the tutorial to understand what is the full spectrum of features that this thing offers, but you can see them briefly here. So Magic Design, Canva is attacking me journey in all these AI design tools. Magic Design for video. So they have released AI tools to help you create easier videos, but also to edit them much faster. Magic Write, of course, so you can create and generate written content for your designs, but also editing features like magic editing, magic grabbing, magic expansion of different images, and some crazy ones like generate natural signing voices for your designs and your videos, AI presenters, and of course, a different bunch of AI images. So let's start with the latter one. So let's test together the magic design. He try magic design. So you see that you have a placeholder here exactly like ChatGPT. All you need to do is to use five plus words to describe your design. Like for example, a cyberpunk design for a carousel template for Instagram. I'll hit enter and let's see what it will create. So you're gonna see here that it came up with some results that don't really fit what I asked. So it created a story, an Instagram post. I don't see anywhere a carousel template, Facebook post, YouTube thumbnail. So, and as you see here, it says that technology is being improving. Obviously this one didn't really work very well. So I'll give it two out of 10. Let's go with a magic design for presentations. Try magic design. So let's go here and say, I need a presentation for my upcoming product launch clothes, let's say. Hit enter. So you're gonna see that the results that I got here are actually pretty much the same. Like if I would just ask in the template section, for a product launch template. So you can see here that all those different templates, which are great, right? Don't get me wrong. You can just choose one, like this one, for example, apply all the 10 pages and start creating a killer presentation that I do all the time. I mean, I use in Canva all the time. Now, when you are in the presentation, you can use the different features that you have, like the ones that we discussed in the beginning, like the magic write. So you can ask uh, for the AI assistant to rewrite the text for you or to generate different captions or to edit the photos with the tools that we said before that are available, like the BG Remover, Magic Edit, Magic Grab, but we're going to check them individually later. So regarding coming up with presentation and templates of presentation, I will give it again 2 out of 10. Sorry, Canva. The sponsor of this video is a platform that will help you monetize your copyright.
So stick with me. So the platform is called tripsip.io. The app is now live for sign up. Here's how it works. It's super easy. First, we're going to meet the copyright of our videos, protect our ownership on an immutable ledger, and then we can sell partial interest in copyrights to investors, allowing us to get cash for content today. All you gotta do is connect through Google, which is the safest way possible. Use the upfront cash to invest in your content, grow your business, whatever you want. So if you wanna try it yourself, click the link below and get started today. Let's try together the natural sounding voices to my design. So use existing design or use a new design. You can, for example, edit a video that you're already uh, using on Canva and add a natural human-like voice, or you can start from scratch. I will go with an existing design. Choose from my projects. Let's say that I want to edit some footages that I was creating before. So for example, this video right here. And as you're gonna see, it will ask you to sign up to Murph AI, which is a platform that does exactly that. If you don't have an account, you can create one through Canva. I already have one. So what you can do here is select a language like English, Indian English, French, you name it. I will go with US Canada, select a voice. Actually, I will go with Miles. So I will write here, checking charts can be complicated. A completely random text like that. I will generate a voiceover. Charts can be complicated, so ChatGPT is analyzing the statistics for you, making all the changes needed. Quite good, right? You can add it to the design like this and check it out. And now the video has a natural human-like voiceover. Charts can be complicated, so ChatGPT is analyzing the statistics for you, making all the changes needed. So actually, you can create a video from scratch by choosing specific frames or adding yours and creating a voiceover like that within seconds. I like that. I will give it 9 out of 10. Good job, Canva. Let's go to text to image, something that most people have tried either with Mid Journey or Dream Studio or many other Dali that was probably the first one or even Bing Create, so many different tools coming out that are doing exactly the same, but Canva has introduced its own version that's actually using Dali in the backend and helps you generate images for your designs that are unique, they're copyright free, and you can use them for materials for marketing, for your social media posts or your client social media posts or whatever. So let's say for example that I want to create a post about a real estate project, like a futuristic real estate project that we're starting as a real estate agency and we want to use some really beautiful futuristic real estate images to use them so create for me futuristic real estate images of high and villas by the sea let me correct my terrible vocabulary and i will generate the image let's see check them out wow this is really good this is really good. This is really solid. Let me add this one as well. Wow, I'm impressed. This really looks good. And you can actually add text right here or even get a pre-made text like one of those ones, for example. New project. You can change the colors, of course. Experiment. I'll make it like this. Add a bit more background like that. Maybe change the lines, the spacing like this. Check this out. Really cool, right? The images are super good. I like them. And as you see, they're added in your gallery. You can use them on this project or, or future projects or whatever. Those actually were different images that I used for my Instagram covers. So for example, you're going to see that this image has been used in this post and this one in this post where I asked it to create something related to AI and Siri. So this feature really looks good. I like it. It's super easy to use and I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Now, the last feature that we use was the generation of realistic images that you can really use in your designs or whatever. The typical images that we need when we create stuff for marketing purposes. But you can become way more artistic and generate AI art, QR art, or photorealistic AI images like these ones. So for example, if you go to Imagen, like this one, using a new design, you can select the size. I will go with an Instagram post. So for example, if I say a brain riding a rocket ship heading towards the moon, which is totally random, it will create something like that, which is quite cool, right? So many times I want to create a design for my covers on Instagram and the prompt doesn't make sense. This image doesn't make sense, but still, it's really good, right? If you want to make a controversial image or to make a specific point, to use it on threads, on Twitter, on LinkedIn, and, and really grab the attention of people so you can really make a metaphor or whatever, this function can be great. So I will give it 8 out of 10. 
Let's try together Magic Expand, which is one of the things that I love doing. And let's see how effective it is in the platform. So let's say that we have this photo right here. You can select a whole page or a free form. So you can select exactly the part of the screen that you wanted to expand to. I will go with the whole page, Magic Expand, and let's see the result. Check it out. It's totally realistic and you see that there are different kind of versions of the expansion. This is really accurate. I mean, you cannot really say that this photo has been altered and expanded, right? Let's try one of mine. I'll use this one. Edit photo, magic expand, whole page, magic expand again. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> That's quite funny, right? Not very realistic. That was a quite difficult kind of image to expand, to be honest. What kind of shoes are those? They're really funny, right? So the detail is not yet. This is totally random. So I will rate the expansion feature with 5 out of 10. Sorry. Let's move forward with a magic edit. Try magic edit right here. You select a part of your photo like this. Add a deer, for example. Hit generate <laughs> and check it out. Not bad, right? This is quite accurate, actually. It's not that bad. So yeah, I guess that was pretty messy, you know, if you do it a bit more detailed and you have some creativity, I think this one is quite good. So I'll give it 8 out of 10. And finally, we're gonna see the magic design for video. Video is dominating everywhere, so Canva wants to enter this field, it's clear. We saw before how great and easy it is to create human-like voiceovers to add in your videos. So let's see now what else we have. Now, as you see, it asks you to select the three, three files to add to your video. And I guess it makes some kind of compilation. Normally you need videos. So the ideal thing is to find some footage to use here, but I will do it with photos. So let's say that I want to use this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Totally random. And you can ask for something specific like create a nice memories video collage adding some inspiring music i have no idea if it will do it but we'll try it together hit generate and let's see the result You see that it added also some quotes, right? In every single frame, like I love exploring new places. I'm always up for an adventure. And it really recognized in front of the car, right? So there is some kind of AI element right here. It, it recognized that I'm outdoors. So it added some emojis based on that. It put a smiling face at, at the very last frame. So I'm pretty sure that if you have motion and if you have footage, it's gonna be way better. It even added my logo at the end, but it's not visible because it's white. If it was black, it would be better. So yeah, the music was okay. Also found the exact length for that. So I can be very tough for that. I, th I believe that especially for people that are amateurs in video, this can be a great help for them to start creating something very, very easily with just a prompt. So I will give it 6.5 out of 10. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Show some love. Make sure to watch this video if you want to make some passive income in 2024. And until next time, simply Hustle.